Every second, the sun loses about 4 million tons of its mass. While you're watching this video, it will become 2.4 billion tons lighter. In about 5 billion years, the star will completely use up its hydrogen reserves and after a while only a small white dwarf will remain from it. After about 100 trillion years, according to scientists, absolutely all the stars in the universe will disappear and black holes will be the only source of energy. But can we, in the distant future, replace our sun with a black hole? Will mankind be able to survive in such extreme conditions? Scientists gave an answer to this question. And to be honest, it just blew my mind. So think twice about whether you want to see what comes next. Before we continue, I want to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. As I travel a lot, I often use Wi-Fi at hotels, cafes, and so on. But I don't want my credit card information stolen, as well as loads of other personal data. So I've started to use NordVPN recently on my phone and laptop to protect my online activity. And I must say, I'm really impressed. Because it provides military-grade encryption, and that's very serious. Another great thing about it is that it's super fast. This is because they've got thousands of servers in dozens of countries. And of course, it gives you absolute freedom. It even works in China. So I advise you to try NordVPN and protect your online security. Go to nordvpn.com forward slash riddle. Click the link in the description and get 75% off a three-year plan. Also, use code riddle to get an extra month of NordVPN for free. If you're not sure, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So don't worry. Now, let's continue. Since the beginning of the 1980s, physicists have believed that in every galaxy, there is at least one supermassive black hole with a super powerful gravity. A disk of gas and dust or an active galactic nucleus rotates around this hole. It emits an incredibly dangerous amount of radiation and creates a huge dead zone around itself. For example, the supermassive black hole in our Milky Way, Sagittarius A, has an active galactic nucleus that stretches for a great distance of 3,200 light years. No planet in this radius can maintain an atmosphere. It is not surprising that black holes are considered to be the least likely place in the entire universe for the existence of life. But a recent experiment has proven quite the opposite. Researchers have created computer models of the active galaxy nucleus. According to Harvard University astronomer Manasvi Lingam, they wanted to focus on the benefits of black holes, not on their destructive power. The experiment showed that the dead zone is much smaller than originally thought in the 80s. It turned out that for a black hole about the size of Sagittarius A, a safe distance for life begins at a proximity of 140 light years. That is, 3,060 light years closer than previously thought. It is at this distance that the so-called habitable zone begins. Here, according to scientists, the atmospheres of planets will be safe, true, provided that their densities is equal to that of the Earth or greater. Additionally, the disk radiation in this area is not so strong as to destroy all living things. That is, at such a distance, the black hole is relatively safe for habitation. And theoretically, it can even contribute to the birth of new life. It is also possible that thousands of uncharted worlds are flourishing right now in its orbit. The fact is that the Lincoln study showed truly shocking results. It turned out that ultraviolet radiation around a black hole can break down molecules and create compounds necessary to produce proteins, lipids, and DNA. That means the potential existence of vital elements. Also, scientists from Harvard believe that the radiation can stimulate photosynthesis, the most important process for the formation of necessary oxygen for human life. After all, it produces the key element for this reaction, light. In addition, many types of bacteria can produce a biofilm that protects them from the harmful effects of ultraviolet radiation. 
there is also the possibility they are able to adapt to incredibly high levels of radiation. So life near the black hole might already be teeming. But if so, is there room for humans in such a friendly orbit? How many planets can exist in it? One? Two? Nine? Theoretically, the figure could be as high as a million, according to an astrophysicist at the Bordeaux Observatory in France, Sean Raymond. For the basis of his calculations, Raymond took a supermassive black hole with a mass of a million times the sun's. So if the potential planets weigh no more than the Earth, then no less than a million will fit in this habitable zone. By Raymond's suggestion, they could be placed on 400 rings with 2,500 planets on each one. In this case, you will never feel lonely on one of these planets. The fact is that the distance between two neighboring planets would be 10 times less than between the Moon and the Earth. As a result, they will loom in the sky so close to us that it will seem as if you can reach out with your hand and touch one. In addition, the light will be stretched by the gravity of the black hole. Therefore, those planets that are closer to the core will be redder, and those that are further will turn blue. Given the bright colors and the proximity of planets to each other, people would be able to observe an incredibly beautiful sight in the sky every time they look up. Even if it turns out that the number of planets orbiting the black hole will be smaller, we will still have a spectacular and romantic view. But why? In the famous film Interstellar, does it appear that life near a black hole will bring more danger than romance? In search of a new refuge for humanity, the blockbuster heroes explored two planets near the black hole Gargantua. The conditions that they found there only threatened our existence. Incredible gravity, destructive tsunamis, ice clouds, and lack of oxygen. The fact is, according to scientists, the details that the director of the movie depicted are not entirely realistic. For example, Miller's planet is too close to a black hole. According to the plot, its gravitational pull slows down time too much. One hour near Gargantua is equal to seven years of Earth time. That is almost 60,000 times slower. According to Tomas Opatrini from the University of Palaki in the Czech Republic, at this slowing of time, Miller's planet was supposed to heat up to almost 900 degrees Celsius or 1,652 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, it is unlikely that Anne Hathaway could have walked on it as if on a beach. In addition, the characters in the film see a tsunami, but Opatrini believes that in reality, the water in giant waves would be replaced by molten aluminum. In fact, all these troubles could be avoided if you keep a safe enough distance from the black hole. When humans really decide to settle nearby, they will most likely stop somewhere in the habitable zone, where the conditions are not at all like those shown by the Hollywood directors. First, the hot sun will be replaced by a cold black hole. Yes, it will definitely be cold. After all, its brightness is provided by gas and other substances that must first fall into the disk, overheat and glow. But if nothing gets into the hole, then in fact its temperature is absolute zero. Also, much depends on the size of the hole itself. Opartney's team calculated that a planet the size of Earth, which rotates around a black hole the size of the Sun, will be able to extract only about 900 watts of usable power. That is just enough for short-term life support. As due to the cold and lack of light, plants and animals would become extinct. Although among complex organisms, the polar species of animals would last longer, as well as deep sea fish and of course, people. Thanks to alternative energy sources, but the bacteria deep in the ground would continue to exist for millions of years, and even under such unfavorable conditions. Though in the end, life on Earth would disappear completely. So if people want to live near a black hole, should they choose a bigger and more powerful one? Astrophysicists have suggested that in search of heat, people will need to find a black hole a thousand times heavier 
than the sun. The energy that we get from this star today is 174 quadrillion watts. That's 174 times 10 to the 15th power in watts. But from a black hole with a mass equal to a thousand suns, we can only get about 14.7 million watts, which is still more than a billion times less. In other words, the atmosphere will be much colder and more hostile than we are used to. But still, the outlook for all living things will be much more optimistic than in the previous scenario. Despite these imperfect conditions, the experts still believe that it will be possible to exist there. Moreover, they are convinced that sooner or later, life will have to migrate to the orbits of black holes. We will simply have no choice when all the stars go out. On the other hand, according to astrophysicists, this will happen no sooner than 100 trillion years from now. So, people still have plenty of time left. Of course, provided that in the near future, our civilization doesn't destroy itself. Indeed, for such an outcome, there are at least several possible reasons. But that's a topic for another video. And by the way, don't forget about NordVPN. Go to nordvpn.com forward slash riddle or click the link in the description and get 75% off a three-year plan. Also use code riddle to get an extra month of NordVPN for free. If you liked this episode, be sure to like, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell to receive notifications about new videos, and remember to invite your friends. It is more interesting to discuss science topics together.